Over to you. Thank you so much, sir. And good afternoon to all the uh, all the pres all the members presented here, the committee, AI committee, and the chairperson there, and everyone who are presented here and listening to me. This is a great opportunity I got from the AI committee to present my case here, and I am very thankful to give me this opportunity. And before starting uh, my introduction and uh, presentation, I would also like to <clears throat> special thanks to our armed force because of those we are safe at our home, at our office and uh, attending this meeting. Uh, I am C. Harshali Salvi, a practicing chartered accountant from Indore, holding certificate of GST and concurrent audit. Uh, apart from through the traditional practice I have involved I have a passion about the AI and technology. And this is a time when I create some tool, some Excel tools and some applications. The applications contains document management and some tools which are customized, which fulfills the requirement of my clients. I take immense pride to being a part of ICAI. It's a legacy of excellence and thought leadership innovation. Uh, as Kartike sir rightly said, this is a high time of the ITR and this tool will effectively help to analyze the bank statement. This is the time when uh, <laughs> the questions come to analyze the bank statement where the client do not uh, maintain his books of accounts. If we maintain books of accounts, we already have the filter transaction of the bank statement. But when there is no maintenance of books of account, in mostly in the case of ITRs, we need to analyze their bank statement. And due to digitalization of all the transaction, means we are using more digital transaction as of now, earlier we use. So if you see, if you ask the client a bank statement, it will give thousands of entries, a pile of bank statements to you. And it is a time-taking task to analyze and categorize this transaction. So the problem comes to analyze and categorize the transaction, which is high in volume. If we filter those transactions manually with the help of Excel, even they even they uh, those filter will take our time and there also a possibility to get mistakes and another thing come to analyze the transaction when we go through with the excel this is here i want to show the example of a bank statement here the bank bank statement looks like this and a description part of the bank statement looks like this where we need to filter the all the key accounts to categorize the transaction, right? To clean this data, I have created a tool. So <clears throat> what the tool I integrated with the VBA, I use to create a VBA code. I take the help of ChatGPT and automate the transaction which can filterize the key accounts and give me a categorization of the transaction. After processing the statement in my tool, the bank statement look like this. The description part of the bank statement will be clean like this. The main key contains which needs to be categorized for the transaction. And this final remark is a category of the transaction, which is related like this is a transaction of income, it is a expenses, or it is an unsecured loan, etc. Right? Let me take you through the tool. Just allow me to share the screen. Is my screen no visible? Is my screen visible, sir? Kartike, sir? Yes, you are. Yes, sir. Yeah. So in this tool, you just, in this table, you just need to copy paste the 
bank statement and to clean this description this narration part you just need to click a button and it will clean all the narration the key accounts keywords will be filtered in this column after filtering this column it will automatically categorize the column as i have given the code uh, in this situation uh, there is one thing i want to mention you here that i have given a code that all the upi credit transaction should be considered as an income that's why it is considering as an income but if you see here the transaction of the jbus it is considering as its account even though the transaction is a upi credit transaction because the name is also comes in the upi transaction when it is a debit transaction so when it is a debit and credit both the transaction accounts come it will not categorize as a income it will categorize only the income transaction likewise if we you want to edit you we, we can customize the tool as we want now can we find, can we edit this uh, final remark manually so we can also to change the remark this this transaction is a jwash but if this is a unsecured loan transaction then how i will update this remark so do i need to update every transaction so no i have create a list of unit transaction which will provide a list and you just need to copy this remark for the save the time i have done this already let me show you this is the update remark sheet this is the old remarks and the updation the category you have provided is here in this column now again we go to the basic sheet we click on the update old remark it will update the old remark now this transaction comes under the unsecured loan transaction so this is now the summarized part now i need to summarize this also so i create with the help of this finalized sheet i have create a table a pivot table with the refresh of data it is giving a summarized bank statement now you can see this is the income this is expenses drawings cash withdrawal everything comes here this is the this is come from this base sheet let me again come to my presentation now uh, now i want to show you how the uh, chat gpt help me to do this thing i will also show you so i have given a prompt uh, my new screen is sharing please confirm yes you are visible yeah so this is how i have given prompt to the chat gpt i have clearly prompt to get to filter the transaction then after some error trial and error i get the final code after filtering this uh, narration part i need to give the remark also so i have also prompt here to put the remarks and i have got this code to put the remark so here you can see uh, i also need to filter this data this is the code for the unit remark actually the last two minutes yeah so this is the remark how i got so this is how ai help me to create this tool because we all know we are not a, a developer so we need some help we are not a, perfect for creating a code but with the help of ai ai we are able to doing this very efficiently so the benefit of tool is it will save your time with the accuracy you can analyze the data it is intelligence you can customize the code and no other of uh, external software you need to implement to use this tool we can make it more advanced with the help of uh, uh, with the help of power bi 
to uh, create a dashboard we can integrate this with the machine learning and make it more advanced and i am currently working on uh, to advance this software so here this is all about uh, my tool i will happy to answer if there is any question and thank you for the okay. patience listening